Kendall's husband passed away like five minutes ago. What do you what do you expect me to do? Hop into our hospital bed? I do have more than one friend. <laughs> I was talking about Madison, not Kendall. Madison. The yes, blonde. Yes, oh. I saw you two in that room together and you seemed to be connecting. So what do you think? We were like soulmates? I just thought she might be someone you might be interested in. My mistake. Okay. Yeah, I do okay finding my own dates. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Just be sure to stay away from smart, beautiful women like Madison because they're obviously too much of a challenge for you. Oh, someone's pissed off. Is it because I'm still treating your husband? I am no longer responsible for David. Yeah, I know that. You passed him off. Do I have to remind you what that man put me through? You may see him as some sort of brilliant mentor, but I... I'm not doing this. I do not want to talk about David. Yeah. You're too busy playing matchmaker. Hi, what are you doing? Uh, Where did you get this? Madison left it here. Okay. Now listen to me. I know that you've been dealt a really bad hand recently, but most people waiting for a heart transplant usually die before they get one. You've been given a second chance, but that doesn't mean you're indestructible. You think I don't know that? I feel like I'm falling apart here. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So here's your opportunity to fall apart where it's safe, in the hospital, before you go home to your two little boys. Because when you're there, Kendall, you're going to have to start taking care of yourself. Stop neglecting that heart of yours. And seeing a shrink might not be a bad idea either. Okay, all right. Would you please stop lecturing me? I'm doing the best I can. I think that you can do better. Because if you don't, your kids may lose another parent. Stay back. You don't want to catch this. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are you sure you should be out? Ugh. Well, I don't have a choice. Moms don't get sick days, so. Well, moms get breaks, right? Welcome to my big break today. I am making an emergency run for medicine and Crystal's chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I ache all over, but I, I can't stop now, so. Well, is there anything I can do? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank God Jake got his shift covered for the rest of the afternoon, because I don't know how I could do it, but, uh, I don't know how single mothers do it, you know? Uh, more power to them, right? Right. Well, luckily, there are lots of great nannies out there. And we have one of the best ones. Just don't ask me how much she makes. Is that bad? But worth every penny. You'll see someday. I'm, I'm sorry. Happy to see you. Yeah? Yeah. You had one of those mornings too, huh? Yeah, I went to see Kendall. Yeah. And it was a little awkward, but the main thing is she's doing better. Well, she must be doing better. She's got visitors coming by. And what about you? I had a weird morning. I went to see JR and then I um, went to prison. <laughs> to prison? Yeah. Scott Chandler wanted to see me. About what? Well, he's hoping to get an early release, and he wants to come work for Cambius, and it's just hard. I hated turning him down, but a job would be good for his parole. He did admit to corporate theft. I know, I know, but the guy wants to start over, you know? I always liked Scott. Yeah, he's a decent guy, right? He just got mixed up with... The wrong woman? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's nice to say that I don't have that problem. No, you finally found the right woman. Yeah, you got that right. And this right woman is going to fight like hell to make us be right forever. Would you please just leave? Why? Because you can't handle the truth? Because you're implying that I'm trying to kill myself and make my children orphans. Okay, maybe that was a hard sell, but I am trying to keep you alive here, and you're not helping me. All right, listen, you know what? We're not in your war zone anymore, okay? There's no bombs about to go off and explode. So maybe you can try and take a second and feel what your patients are going through. You know, that's exactly where I'm going to be when I'm finished with you. But first, I have to make you well again. 
We doctors take this oath thing pretty seriously. So you get some rest. Or else I'm gonna pull out a magic trick. Disturb you? Hey. Hi. No, you're, you're not. You're not. I think I left a cell phone here. You did, actually, and uh, my prison guard took it away from me. I like Dr. Castillo. Yeah, of course you do. Well, you know what? You can have him. There you go. Thank you. Hey, if there's anything I can get you before I go. No, thank you. Okay. Take care, huh? Uh, actually, can I ask you something? Sure. Is there a tidal wave hovering over my head? No, no tidal wave. A hurricane? A monsoon? No, neither. But that's how it feels. Do you ever feel like that? Like life is just spinning and swirling around you and you've got this...